Well, it's March 25th, nine months till Christmas, and so today we celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation. Of course, it's when the angel Gabriel came to the Blessed Virgin Mary to announce to her that she would be the mother of the Savior. We remember the moment of her humble consent, and then the moment when our Savior Jesus Christ was conceived by the Holy Spirit in her womb. We remember that in the beautiful prayer called the Angelus, using those words from the Gospel of John, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. See, since, since ancient times, Christmas has been the feast of remembering and celebrating when our Savior came to earth. And indeed, for all of us, our birthday is the celebration of our formal entrance on the human scene. But through the wonders of modern science, we now know beyond any shadow of a doubt that human life begins at conception. So this Feast of the Annunciation, we might also call it the Feast of the Conception of Christ. And so really, it is the day to remember the events, the mystery of the Incarnation, that God became man on this day. He came into our midst to save us, to bring us his love, to bring us to eternal life with him. What a glorious gift that he has loved us so. All of it is made possible through that fiat of Mary. She's not afraid to ask questions, to bring her concerns to the Lord, as we heard in the Gospel, and certainly we can do the same. But still, it ends with that generous yes, humble obedience. Through it, she ushers in our salvation. We follow her example of humble obedience, of coming to the Lord with our concerns, but always leaving with a heart open to his will, whatever it might be. 